This is Mr. Impact Wrestling himself, Moose, and you're listening to the Irish Whip. Hookers? Hookers and Coke? Hookers and Coke, man. You're the only pro wrestler I know that wants to do the shit in the morning. Yeti, you're a f***ing moron. Put it this way, I think Sammy Callahan might as well just change his name to Invader I want to know why. Like, he can dodge any question. Like, I'll tell anyone that. You can tell me the f***ing but I, I'm going to ask specific questions. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. WrestlingNewsSource.com. For all the rest of you yahoos are out there dilly dilly you little wankers, we're actually receiving real wrestling news. This is Brett screwed Brett. I'm Who are you to, to, to doubt El Dandy? Because this guy's a serious professional. Brett screwed Brett. Hold two arm bar. Hey, get a nice shot of the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Hunter Hurst Helmsley. I hate you. I hate you. I hate your hat. I hate your t-shirts. I hate your wristbands. I hate your shoes. I hate your music. I hate the C-Nation. I hate everything that you stand for. So does rule. Yeah, they do. (laughs) What's up, T.I.W. Mafia? JP here. We didn't even discuss who was going to bring us in this week. I just said, screw it. Here with Josh. Well, at least you're not as hot this week. I mean, no, this is, no. this is, you didn't, this is, I was waiting for, for the fourth week in a row to, you, for you to drop the F bomb, like within the first 10 <laughs> seconds, but you, you've, you've reserved yourself. I, I get rid. I want to come in. I come in flying, man. 90, 99 miles an hour, right off the bat. Uh, as we get started, everybody, please, uh, at the number three, Irish Boys with a Z, uh, make sure you're following us. Make sure you're following at Wrestling News Source. That uh, is at w, what, WN Source. So it's W N S and then O U R C E, as well as Ben. Um, so yeah. make it a make it a, a point to do that because yeah. as we progress this year, um, Beyond is back. We're going to get into that. Um, the Wrestling Channel, Channel, geez, the Wrestling Channel on Pluto TV, which is kind yeah. of where. JP has been. Um, I'm, I'm a lot of, on that rabbit hole right now. Yeah, but, uh, AEW Revolution. Um, Kelly Klein filing uh, filing her ROH uh, lawsuit uh, recently, and then um, Creative and Impact. Uh, I don't know, JP. Have you heard about um, any of the information regarding uh, Tommy Dreamer and his tweet about AEW and the Impact relationship? No. We should, we should let him in, right? Should we let him yes. in? Yeah. Let's look at that. What's, what's up? Chris, what's up, Mister Chris Rucker? From do I say from boot to the face in the eighty proof podcast, or is that how that? How do we do this now? I'm from uh, Kansas City, Missouri. You can just say that. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck are y'all? Good oh, man. man. Oh, look at Dax hat. That's awesome. That is Thank awesome. You, I'm I'm pledging my support, hoping that uh, hoping they can get this shit worked out, so I don't have to be looking for another quarterback for 20 years like I was. I know where you can find uh, one if you need a Super Bowl real fast. He knows. Uh, he he's Tom not Brady's staying in Tampa. No, you can have the one that, in, in the black and gold. Just take that dude. Just take him. Nah, nah, it's fine. I'm good. I'm good. He'll be all right. We're you talking know about well lit like Chris is compared to us. Like he, Chris is like a professional podcast. I, you know, you know, I just did this today. I, I rearranged all this stuff in here because you know, on eighty proof, Jay's got all this fucking like <laughs> new age, new wave shit that he's got going on, and my screen is right next to his, and I look just so low budget. So I'm the trying dick, to keep up. The with dick him. comparisons that happen when I, you know, I don't even try anymore. When I see Jay's up, I'm like, oh, this dude's gonna have the best of the best. He's gonna be hitting shit left. He's just gonna be point, and things are gonna happen. That's all he does now. Just point he looks like a happen. DJ when we start going. Like he's doing shit over here. He's doing shit over here. He's fucking smoking weed out of a vape. Like he's doing 18 <laughs> different things at once. <laughs> You guys got a hell of a podcast, though. Like, you know, I'm there every Wednesday and Friday. We appreciate What's up, that, Andre, in the audience? Bobby D, Temba. But how, yeah, hard no, you know, how, how hard is it there. for you? How hard is it for you to do as much podcasting as you're doing? It, you, you know, it goes in waves. Like, I'm, I'm really excited about eighty proof because it's new, um, and it's not just one category like on boots of the face we've been kind of branching out besides just wrestling 
But with 80 proof, like everything's on the table. So it's a lot easier. And then we got a live chat that happens at the same time, much like much like y'all have on here. And then my Cowboys podcast, it's like there ain't a lot going on. So it's it's hard to come up with content for that. But look, the Cowboys, don't I, have I like fans. it. I mean, well, he, I, I, you're my dad's a Cowboys fan. So I, it's been a part of my life. Like just the Cowboys watching you suffer. <laughs> Is it's brutal. It's hard for me because when Tony Romo calls a game, I just cringe. It just it's just reminds me all the time of why I hate the Cowboys. Romo is great on commentary, though. Shut your mouth. Well, he is. He's, I mean, yeah, no, he really is. If he could read defenses that well when he was playing, we probably have right? a Super Bowl by now. He he literally knows what's going to happen before it happens every single time, and it's like, where was that when you were playing? What yeah. kind of what kind of pro wrestling are you consuming? How much are you have you has you have your habits um, drawn less because of eighty proof or like where are you at as far as what you're watching and what you're doing? I wouldn't say because of eighty proof. I would say just because I'm getting older and I'm not dedicating. You know, I'm I'm doing so much other shit, and then I'm married. I got two kids. Like, there's only so much time in a day, so. I have to pick and choose now. Like Monday Night Raw, I don't remember the last time I watched the full episode. We record, uh, we stream live on 80 Proof Wednesdays and Fridays. So I'm I'm doing that while NXT and AEW's on. So usually on Saturday mornings, I'll catch up with those. But I fast forward through a lot of the shit. And then well, Impact. I think that's our generation is we've, we've decided that we miss our Saturday morning cartoons and we've just substituted man, it with massive amounts of pro wrestling. When the fucking Mandalorian was going, like I'd get up every morning, have some coffee, watch the Mandalorian, and then watch SmackDown and just kind of chill for a minute. That was my cartoon. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of catching up throughout the week. I don't watch, I rarely watch anything live anymore. Um, Thanks, Timber. I appreciate that. Old man rocker. <laughs> Old man rocker. <laughs> I feel it this week too. But yeah, man, I I uh I hadn't seen any indie stuff just because of COVID. Like we haven't, you know, we don't have the vaccine yet, so I'm not really going out and doing that kind of shit. But I watch what I can. I watch all the pay per views, but I'm just I'm I'm not as excited about everything as I was a year and a half ago. And I don't know if that's because there's no fans there and it just looks different, but it's just been fucking like, there's so much content. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's just, it's too, it's too much. Like It's too fucking I, much to watch. I watch sort of the same way as you, but I'll throw on, like I just discovered Pluto TV with the, uh, the wrestling channel. Yeah. So like, I'll have that on in the background when I'm not working. Oh, look at that. Boy. It just went right up when you talked about it. Look at you. <laughs> look at you. Yeah, see, shit, we don't need it, Jay. I shit voice activated. Yeah. Oh, that's okay then. It's a, uh it's it's the see, a million dollars. No, yeah, well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Josh two thousand. Yeah, right, exactly. But it's um it's funny because G- it, I watched, that's how, how I was consuming Impact for like the last three years because they have that Impact channel yeah. that's on there. And, and a yeah. lot of it is the uh, like Kurt Angle, the Stinger years that I like, that I miss. Like that was my favorite time was Kurt Angle and Sting and TNA. I, that, I, 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 I was like addicted to that channel for a while. And now that they Pluto TV has the indie wrestling TV, like it's it's awesome. It's fun to see that it's on there. Defy JP or beyond. Yeah. Beyond being beyond back to that's the big um, thing. What's the other, what's the other one out in the, um, a lot of the defy carrot, a lot of the defy, um, guys, but it's on the, well, more on the West. Yes. Pro wrestling gorilla. No, yeah. not pro wrestling gorilla. Um, there's another one out there. Um, that's on there too. A lot. And it's, um, like they used Chef and um, I can't think go. of what PCW, PCW, PCW Ultra. Yes, that's okay. on there. And it's cool because like we had Chef on and he was talking about making his uh, like a while back, and he was talking about making his uh, debut there. And I literally watched that on there the other day. Yeah, Chef's a, Chef's a big boy. Chef needs some work. They all need to work. But this is here's what's crazy about right now with COVID is like none of the beyond is back. 
Yes. But none of these guys are working right now. None of these guys are um they're not out there getting their names out there like they, they normally would be. Yet they're all getting scooped up by the WWE. Yeah. Have you seen any of these signings, Chris, at all? Have you probably- Yeah, I saw the uh I read the article the other day about Taya Valkyrie and uh Steiner's son and everybody else and yeah, I think good for them. I think you'll like um, Christian Casanova, depending on what they do character wise with him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited uh, about seeing seeing new people. You know, I I love NXT. NXT's probably my well, SmackDown's my favorite WWE brand, but NXT's probably I like NXT over anything else besides SmackDown. I love seeing the new people come out. I love, you know, yeah. just something different. Like NXT's different than anything else that i'm watching so if they're going to show up on there pretty soon i'll i'll definitely tune in for it yeah um i don't know how long they because they've had a couple guys like they've had josh briggs and pretty much that whole everybody else that came up with august gray they've had um since last summer and they haven't done anything with them other than august and um like one or two other guys what's that that curse stallion and then what's the, the rust uh what's his is that right is it rust Oh man, Dion or Leon something? Shit, I don't know. I mean, I don't know where they would go with all these people. They're like, where, where's the room for them? You know what I mean? Right. It's like it's like AEW signs all these people, and they all just like hang out in the first and second row during Dynamite, like, <laughs> and then they have a four hour AEW dark. But after that, like, what are you doing with them? So yeah, all these people are being signed, but I don't know. I just. Like I said earlier, man, it's just too much too much fucking wrestling for me. I know that sounds stupid on a wrestling podcast, but no, no I, yeah, I think I've sort of been that way for a long time. I I try to make it a point, uh, just because like the I don't know, man. It, I just try to make it a point. I I suffer through raw sometimes. Um because I'm yeah. really digging I, I really want that Bobby Lashley that they're that they're trying to paint. Like I, I want that really, really bad. Um, Ricochet, all I, I, I just there's so much. <laughs> I love how he no sold it too. Just like <laughs> he should hit the ground, and he just kept the serious look on his face and just kept right on. Because like, I can't even. Yeah. If we wouldn't have laughed, you would have never known anything happened. I can't even look fault, to see JP. if it broke. Oh turn my God. On you. Our bad. Yeah, and when, when people when people listen to this, all they're going to hear is a crash. They're not going to see anything, but all, all we saw was the, so, the water bottle go down. JP, like, try to half catch it, not catch it. Maybe there's something that fell, and then just, like, fuck it. It's not so me. Are we still on? Are we still right on? Here, yeah. Right here is my TV, my television. <laughs> And, like, I don't have a whole lot of – if I put my water bottle in front of the television, it's on the camera, so I try, I try to put it behind it. The problem is, sober uh, sober when? Sober February, one day at a time, though. <laughs> my bottle of coconut rum was also right there, and I knocked that <laughs> off the, off the uh, stand. Yeah, so much for sober. <laughs> I told you, one. I take it one day at a time. That's why you're so invested in that bottle of water, because it's not water. No, no, the water. I was, was trying to water. figure out why you're so invested in the bottle of water, man. Fucking vodka. <laughs> you, we, you have any, any casualties? No, it doesn't look it. I'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man! But uh, raw is something that I I try to make a habit, but I just can't get through it. Sometimes yeah. I can, sometimes I can't, and I think it's easier for me to get through SmackDown because it's shorter. And we're getting um, a, a lot more content and a little bit quicker. Like we've, I, it's just me. I I prefer SmackDown. I By the way, is just too long. I just wanted. To, I want to throw my uh, let you know, Chris, that my thoughts and prayers are with you today. Um, I know you suffered a, a big loss today, and uh, Cavino and Rich no longer being on Sirius Satellite Radio. Yeah, they uh, they got some stuff coming down. It's not. It's not. The I end. didn't. I never realized that was how you and Marty knew each other. Yeah, we uh, we were in the Facebook group, and the Facebook group would talk about like the daily topics or whatever. And there's a bunch of us that would talk about wrestling in some kind of way. Like me and Marty 
became kind of friends about it. And he did a yearly trip to Atlanta for Braves baseball. We hung out, we went to a ROH show and that was right around the time I had started podcasting and I was looking for somebody to podcast with because doing it by yourself is fucking, yeah. you know, as, as Rap. funny as I think that I am like, Rap, yeah, it's hard to do it by yourself. Cause and there's that's how no we one started. to react to. There's yeah, no one exactly. to react to. There's no one to have a conversation with. Um, like me and Josh have both had different co-hosts in the past and have both had uh, both had times with them and with us where we've had to kind of do it on our own. And it's like, ah, uh, no. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a struggle because uh, anytime you interview or talk about it, it's just a conversation. Like you just, you're just talking about things. You're just having a conversation about, you know, like they're like everybody's worried about COVID and there being too much content, which there is too much content. It's where, Tommy Dreamer, I, I I asked JP, like, did you hear? Did you read about Tommy Dreamer's tweet with? Uh, yeah, yeah. About I him. Did. What do you think about you know his? For those that didn't see or hear, like, basic premise of the tweet is why would AEW take the time to to shit on a product like Impact rather than build it up to have an actual competition and make it valid? Right? Like, why would you? Why would you shit on the product? I I don't know unless I I mean I don't watch Impact religiously so I don't know if they did or didn't shit on them but even if they did you know they're lending their world champion out to Impact damn near weekly like they've got teams coming over to wrestle for the tag titles weekly they're trying to get more eyes on Impact along with having the crossover so yeah you might not like the way it's going but Impact you know how they've been they've been around longer than WCW like almost twice as long which is crazy to me. But they've had such a negative connotation associated with them up until recently and now AEW coming in gets other people's eyes on them that probably weren't watching beforehand so like yeah Tony Khan might talk shit about you but when he's fucking bringing eyes in you're supposed to put your best foot forward and hopefully you can keep those viewers and then you can give them a big fuck you by taking some of their viewership if you feel disrespected or whatever. But I hadn't seen it, so I don't know. I think it's. I think he just it gets up straight. I think it's he's frustrated because he has the house of hardcore, and I think he works hard on that. And yeah, they've been shut down since like, COVID. You know, if you didn't have a like, if if Matt Hardy didn't, he was an impact. He was an impact yeah. for a while. Like, there's a lot of people that were in impact and got an opportunity there. And then Cody, yeah, Cody for sure. Like, the, the Bucks, those are, like all them to the whole elite yeah. was an impact at one point. The, or another. I forgot about that. The young Bucks were Generation Next, Generation Me, or some shit like that. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't that long ago that that who were the Bucks? It, it wasn't that long ago. ago. There was some tag team they that have, I used they, to see do Chicago once in a while. Was yeah. it Okada that they had dressed up like a fucking uh the Green Hornets cameraman or some shit like that with Samoa <laughs> Joe? Yeah. It wasn't Okada. Who was it? Okada? I don't know, man. Or was it Ibushi? It was. It was one of the like heavy hitters in New Japan. They had an impact, and they had him like dressing up like the Green Hornets photographer. But and it was like, and now they're world champion, or they were world champion. I. It's gonna sound shitty because I don't remember which one of them it was, but it was one of the heavy guys in New Japan. So, Impact's had all these guys and didn't do shit with them. So I, you know, I don't know. That's. Yeah, and uh, it, that's almost a problem. Like, they get guys like Eddie Edwards, who I swear to God, like, I'm not lying to you when I say that if they let Eddie go, Eddie's one of the best in the world. Eddie can hang with anybody. Um, I've seen it, literally. Some of the best matches, him and Bobby Fish, um, like, incredible. His tag team stuff that he did up here with, um, they were called Sabotage, was him and DC Dillinger. Um, and DC used to get upset because DC was, DC was awesome and he was a great promo and he was a great heel and he got heat like nobody else, but he, it ate at his, um, almost his, I don't want to say his self-confidence because it's not really the thing, but he knew that his tag team partner could be on Monday night any, any time. Yeah. Um, and Eddie Edwards is like literally one of the best in like, why does he stay in impact then? Why did he stay there? I don't know. Why? He's done a. He did a try. Him and Roderick Strong did the tryout at the same time. 
So I don't know what happened there. Obviously, I don't know the insides of that, but um, I mean, it's the same thing with silver. Silver had a little bit of a shot. Yeah, everybody get everybody. Everybody wants to. Everybody wants to take a taste of the impact, but they don't want to own it when they've gone through it. So I, I wish it was the other way around. It's it's really the proving grounds for a lot of people. And I get where Dreamer's coming from when he talked, when he, you know, I, I should read his, I should, I should quote it, but basically those people like Hardy Rhodes, like, why would you come in at a company like this when you're, when you're trying to, when you're trying to, to have a, a I guess, build it up, why would you want to tear it down before right. you, even, before you even get the build? Why would you tear it down? No, Josh, we're talking? about, we're about 25 minutes in, um, do you think I should tell them who's presenting the, uh, who's providing basically the figure for the Free Fig Friday this week? I guess. Yeah, I think you should because I just, right. I think I just uh, dumped like almost 70 bucks. Your box was 35, I think. <laughs> Those figures. So are, are we giving away uh, Elite 31 Vader? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm never giving that away. Yeah. That fucking thing is so <laughs> valuable. It's ridiculous. We're going to give away one of the figures, but that's right behind you, Josh. You just pick one. Uh, yeah, the NXT is that is which one's the NXT figure you got right there? Is that the Velvet Dream? Yeah, this yeah, one, we give we give no, away one of us this week. This is Roman. No, Roman no. Reigns in NXT. Which Bottom, one? That, that one right? Yeah, right there. That's Kofi. That's Kofi oh, okay. WrestleMania when he won the title. Oh, that's a nice figure. There we go. That's that's a a nice, nice two. Let's give away Rutgers fig. Hey, <laughs> hey goddamn man in here. <laughs> Uh, so, I don't have any up there that I would give away. All the ones I'd give away this fiend, but everybody has one of them. I don't even know how that made it on my wall. To be honest with you, <laughs> must have some shitty podcast gave it to you, probably. <laughs> no, I I bought it. <laughs> no, that was and the, then I was got the it, and I was one. like, why the fuck would I buy this? And I never opened it, and I had an extra space, I think, and I just put it up there. But it doesn't belong. Like I got the Rock and Booker T and Batista, and you got fucking Bray Wyatt. Like that shit didn't <laughs> go together. It will. You gotta let it, you gotta let it marinate. We've been marinating right. for ten years. <laughs> Put fucking Alexa Bliss up there instead of the fiend. That's they're they're right. doing that, aren't they? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, D, I still have that Usos battle pack. That's probably that's probably my favorite. Like which pack. one? The ones where they're in the white, or the ones yeah. where they got the belts? The ones in the, well, it's in the they're in the white with the belts. The oh, tech. I don't have the belts, but I don't know if you can see it or not. I have a football over here that was signed by DeMarco Murray, and the Usos are on each side of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the white. Yeah, yeah, I see them. I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I put them over <laughs> It's funny you brought that up, because I, I just rearranged, like, all this shit in here today. Uh, so, so, yes, this, JP, do you want to do do mention that now? Yes. So, this week's Free Fig Friday, a new year brings a new beginning for all of our listeners that own a business, whether it's a small business, big business, anything, I want to tell you about FedEx Office. If you're just starting out or you've been running for years, generations even, FedEx Office gives you the best way to print, marketing materials, posters, signages, graphics, and so much more. With FedEx, creating, editing, saving, and ordering are fast and easy. We are teaming up with FedEx and Podjo to bring our listeners 30% off your next order of $100 or more. You just go to podjo.co slash FedEx. That's P-O-D-G-O dot C-O slash FedEx for 30% off your next order. FedEx, the, the world, world on time. time. <laughs> You've done that one That's a few my times. Favorite part. That's my favorite part. World FedEx, the world on time. I love your shirt, JP. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm mad that I'm wearing this shirt today. I, I enjoy this shirt too, though. I How almost wear that shirt it's because weird. what's what's getting delivered to my house today before the, at some point before 9 p.m. apparently is my Irish Whip hoodie and oh. and my 80 proof podcast T-shirt. Oh shit! Look at you. You're gonna be decked out. That's it, man. Before. I gotta. Uh, I think like the kids that. call it drip. I gotta be dripping, man. Drippy. I don't know what they call it. I'm too old for that shit. As Timber said, dripping. So. <laughs> I'm dripping. She's young enough. She thinks she can validate that. Probably for you, JP. If you're dripping or not, I'm guessing. I, I heard it. I don't know. I heard her on TikTok. Jesus, really? 
I, at some point, I need to release that TikTok mania thing. TikTok yeah. account but, over there to so, Jay and Dez if we, they ever wanted. That's a, good, an that's Irish, a good handle. We've had an Irish whip one. And uh, we don't do anything with Like I did for a little while, and I kind of stopped uh, just posting wrestling clips and stuff. But I said to Josh, like, I got, I got, we got three Irish boys. You should get TikTok mania. <laughs> just so Jay and Des can't have it. Make them pay for it, build the fucking, build the followers up, and then charge them like 50, 500 bucks for it or whatever. It's such a perfect name. Well, this is stuff that we did. And there was like, we, why do we still do this? Like, why do I, it, I just have, like, it's stuff that just sits there. Do they? They probably don't. They're too old. To, so, Jay's too sober to TikTok now. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> probably. That's a good thing, though. What are right? they going to do to win? We're going to spin the wheel in a minute. What are they going to do to win the figure next week, Josh? I don't know. They got to, you know, they're going to have to retweet um, whatever the tweet we come up with and whatever figure we figure out over the weekend. You should yeah, they have push-ups. to retweet the tweet, follow us, and what else will they have to do? Make them do push ups. Whoever can post a video doing the most push ups wins the figure. Why do we have to? Have, okay, so it? yes, no, that's a good idea. So they have to, they have to like the, they have to retweet the the tweet that's pinned on Monday. They have to follow us. They have to tell us how many push ups they did, and they can do that by DMing at boot to the face <laughs> on Twitter. And just tell them how many push-ups that they were able to He's do. Such a fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was. How many asked, times? Well, how I got many a bone to pick with you, you Josh. How I many got a bone to pick with you. How many DMs I, did you? I'm sitting here minding my business, right, on trying his, to walk with the Lord on, on his podcast. Proof. Yeah, and listening. all of a sudden, my phone just starts blowing up, and I. I keep getting all these fucking DMs that just say ricochet. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Did ricochet die? Like I'm, I'm in the break and I'm trying to figure it out. And then I check the notification and it's like, Hey, follow three Irish boys, retweet this, take a shot of Irish whiskey and DM boot to the face, the word ricochet. And I'm just like, motherfucker. I had to turn my phone, my notifications off. That's. <laughs> It's coming back though. I'm gonna get you back. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I know. Do you know how many people owe me practical jokes? Do you know how many people owe me revenge? I'm untouchable. It's almost becoming one of those August Grey things. Like the best. It's become about like part of what we're doing, and we just sneak it in one way or another. Was like, if you weren't on the year, you could have just no sold that. You could have pretended it didn't happen and not said anything. (laughs) But it happened on the year, and you reacted to it visibly. Oh yeah. (laughs) I'm gonna react. I mean, this, this one, if you get me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know you got me. Ain't no sense in fucking no selling it, and I want so, you to know you got me. Which this you week, did. Figure. then you blamed it on Josh. I, it was, that was straight up Josh. This week was straight up me that did it. <laughs> I own it. I always own it most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not keep it. I, I try not to keep it incognito. I mean, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I forgot it was during your show. I feel bad now. But the timing know, was probably was funny. the timing was, was probably off on that. <laughs> so, this week, what we did was we went with Drew McIntyre. He won his elimination chamber match, even though he lost about two minutes later. He won the elimination chamber match, and it's the basic WrestleMania figure. It's a pretty nice figure. Um, we had a good amount of retweets on it this week. I'm actually gonna add a name or two right now because I just saw. Um, JP, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's almost easier sometimes to uh, nothing against FedEx or how much it costs to ship things anymore right now, but man, it's a lot of money to ship things, yeah. Anymore. You know, I'm just adding a couple of names to the wheels, guys, and then we'll be uh, we'll spin it because I can't forget some of these names. Well, I guess, it, I guess weight takes into accountability too, right? Isn't that yeah. how it works? Yeah, did you um. You shipped something to Lynn Mass today, didn't you? Yeah, I shipped uh, that uh, <laughs> take fig, that that Taker fig went to Tommy Flynn today. Um, that Ivar fig went to uh, Kurt Kilberg, and then I got Bobby right. D's address to send all that Christmas stuff to. And then we're good. Yeah, sixty bucks right. is ridiculous timber. It was a it's a lot of money. <clears throat> my my thing is I'm too lazy. I'm not going to the post office. 
it's worth it to me. So I think what we'll do is it's some, I think it's easier if we have like a, I don't know. You had a poll one time. That's always fun. Can't yes. you get a, a, a printer, like a label printer and just have the post office pick it up at your house? Don't they do that? Isn't that probably. free? Probably. Yeah. Well, they do, but they, you probably, you have to have the, the, the scale boxes and certain. I think sizes. you gotta have a scale, which is probably like a one-time fee, but. I mean, I, I don't know how. how much, I know. I hear people talking about how much about he sm- that time. Josh smokes. I'm pretty sure he's got a scale or two around. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good point. All right, so you got the wheel. All right. We pay people for that. The Make sure we convert it to pounds over ounces, though. This is Yellowstone, right, JP? We we pay people for that. That's it. We don't get our hands dirty here. You, you know what's in Missoula? Do you know what was filmed in Missoula this year? Lots of stuff. Is and I know, I know that um, Rucka loves his trash TV because he's got me into a new show. Oh, but uh, you're going to mention this fucking show? Florida Bama show was filmed in Missoula, Montana. Yeah, see, they're up there in yep, Montana. You, that's, see, that's not, you can't. That's I have to. Exp- that's not. That's kind of Montana. That's yuppie Montana. That's I can drive. If you want to come to Montana, come out here where, where you're, if you like get. Uh, hurt real bad. The closest hospital is like 150 miles away. That's no bueno. Yeah. Right? So they're in Missoula. That's nothing. Those they're just a bunch of hillbillies trying to figure things out. Yeah, they're literally the worst people in their world. They're like redneck, like yuppies. Like it, it's like a mix of a redneck and a yuppie mixed in. We're just mixing it. this up well, here. Hey, the last time, the last time Rucker was on the show, he won. So. <laughs> Yeah, don't put my name in there. I don't want <laughs> Drew McIntyre figure. Any name that's on the wheel, any name that shared it is on the uh, on the wheel. All right, are we ready? Yes, absolutely. I forget what the music sounded like, but I know it was fun. Oh god! Yeah, baby. Oh, this is this is why you think you're dipping. Right. <laughs> you're playing this. Right. What, what number did you pick? Do you even remember? I don't know. I um, this is like crazy clown or something. <laughs> Ooh, look at it went past you. How many friends? No. JP, I can't read or see how it works at all the time. It's gonna pop up and tell us. Oh, I guess we don't have to it's do it. Still anything. moving. It's almost done. Oh shit! It's the fig freak. Oh, the Fig Freak. Yeah. The Fig Freak's been on the wheel forever since like day one. Yeah, I think the odds of him winning were finally forever in his favor. <laughs> That's. I'm glad he got it. We'll get that mailed right out to him. Awesome to the Fig Freak. That's cool as shit. That's... So, do you, when do you guys do your show uh, officially? When do you start, Rucker? For... Nine p.m. Eastern on so you... uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. Do I is that is that an opportunity for a plug right there? Is that what yeah. you're doing? I don't, yeah. I don't want to like be rude. No, Wednesdays no, I, and Fridays at nine Eastern time, twitch.tv slash eighty proof pod, where myself, J Bomb, we talk fucking everything. We talked about life insurance last time. I know that's such a sounds boring as hell, but at our age, that's something you know. I'm surprised you guys weren't in that. You know, I I have it. Through my job, but I don't have what would be enough if something were to happen. Until now, by the way, which you'll hear about tonight. My uh, my, my last couple of days dealing with nationwide and Affleck and shit like that, which again all sounds boring, but we try to make it entertaining. We talk about fucking the stock market, cryptocurrency, shit going on in entertainment, shit going on in our lives, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's do- fun. You interact. Uh, everybody in the chat. Money, by the way, too, though. Everybody the in the chat is kicking my ass uh, this week. Your boy JP is usually in there talking shit and trying to make us distracted <laughs> and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun, man. It's it's a couple hours, and then we do a Zoom afterwards yeah. where we all just kind of hang out. The Zoom um, is everything. The Zoom is so much fun. First off, Pete, I'm not Irish, but I'm Irish by way of marriage. So yes. I've had enough sex with an Irish woman to where I'm like a quarter Irish. <laughs> I think that's how it works. I think she's a very, I, I don't know how Irish she is. Uh, Leanne's a very Irish looking woman though. 
Yeah, she's uh, uh well, she's she's like part Irish, most hillbilly. So, <laughs> well, that just goes with being down in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, North Georgia. She's from North Georgia, not even Atlanta. Like she's up in the sticks. So. But that's so. Yeah, you you're you are a uh, designated Irish guy. Yeah. No one ever said that when Nico was on the show, and Nico was probably less Irish than you. I wonder why. Nobody ever watched when Nico was. A name that shouldn't be said. Because nobody watched when he was on here. Bitch. Say his name again. Um, (laughs) Can I say I'm not with Wrestling News Source? Fuck, fuck that guy. I said it. (laughs) I can say whatever I want. He's a (laughs) punk ass bitch. I listen. I don't try you, and you know this from you know you know me. I don't try to hold anybody down, including him. And I, I had this conversation with Josh, and I was just like, fuck it, like, whatever. Um, like, WrestlingNewsSource.com is a great home. They've been loyal to us. Um, I hope that this opens them up for all the podcasts, because that's what I want. I would love to see everybody on there and have, like, a podcast page for them. That's, and get, put everybody on. That's been my goal all along. That's the ultimate goal, is to have... Uh... The podcast page back that wrestling dash radio.com yeah. back and like it, I think it's just fun for me because it's where I live. It reminds me a lot of it's that brain click in me because there's a forums page on there. Like when's the last time you actually went on a forums page and just kind of right, just, you know, got to be a keyboard warrior and, and have fun? Like it, nobody's really rude or flamed anybody or, or, or nothing, but it's just it's one of those things. Where I get to you, you can you can really glean uh, a lot of stuff from people's insight and opinions and their views and like how many times that we've seen uh, Bianca Belair and Sasha and Flair and there's only Rhea. so many there's only so many women and then the women that are there there's only so many on that level so you're gonna see those matches exactly. It'll be main event for WrestleMania night one, by the way. You heard it here first on Irish Whip podcast. So let me ask you this. Do you guys, do you firmly believe that Rhea Ripley is ready for Monday night? Do you believe yeah. she's ready for TV? I, I don't to, agree with you. I, I think she is. Compared to fucking Peyton Royce. And I mean, I don't want to sit here and trash a bunch of people, but compared to what the, I don't know why Peyton Royce is the first name I thought of, but compared to some of the people that they got, yes, she's way better than some of them. She's got a think- bigger following. I'm not into her. Like, I don't like Rhea Ripley at all, but I do know what value she brings as far as the fan base and her in ring and the whole nine. So I think she'll. I mean, My thing with Rhea Ripley is like, she looks very manly. Like, I don't want to see her wrestle the girls. You have I mean, to. She, she's about the same size as Charlotte. Yeah. You think I mean, so? she's just. Yeah, she, I think she's the same. same size. I think if you look at her com- and Lacey Evans, I, Lacey is going to be bigger than Rhea Ripley. But Lacey like, girlies like herself thicker. up more. Yeah, as far as height wise, I think Rhea is mm-hmm. bigger. But I and know Lacey, what you mean. Lacey's pregnant. She has a reason. And but Lacey's also not as good as Rhea Ripley is no, either. No, and so. But there's so there's better wrestlers and there's better workers, and I think Lacey Evans is a better worker, but Rhea Ripley's the better wrestler. Okay, that's where I was going with this. That's that's I can I can buy that right because I I'm still I'm struggling mm-hmm. with some of the spots with Rhea, like the basic ones, that's- that the chaining together and the spots that I'm like I, that I see and I'm it's just habitual watching of the same product a lot. Like the transitions get missed a lot with her. Um, I think EO's better than she is. And I think would have been better suited. Um, really teaming her with Oscar would have been cool for me. Like bringing, even though Kyrie Sane's gone, I, you get that same, I, I, you get the same thing that uh, we had with Oscar where she just didn't get a chance to, um, really lose the belt. It's just taken away from her. So you have two of those at the same time as a tag. But I don't know. I'm skeptical um, because I think it's too soon. I don't want to see Keith Lee happen. I think she's mentally prepared for it. I think she, I just don't think she's worker prepared for it. I mean, I don't know. She was at WrestleMania last year defending the title. Now, it wasn't WrestleMania, but it was supposed to be WrestleMania, though. Like they were. They had her slotted to be defending the title in Raymond James Stadium in front of eighty thousand people. So, to them, I think they think she's ready. But you guys are kind of freaking me out now. Talking about 
<laughs> Monday Night Raw and Bianca Belair is about to make this decision tonight. And I'm like, I'm all in on her versus Sasha, but I'm thinking maybe they need more star power on Raw for like Rhea to go I, get I, and, I, and Charlotte. I guess and, that's where I'm where I'm at when I was gonna ask you know, <clears throat> we watch it sparingly, but what you bring her up, obviously she's gonna be a face. What 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 heel on on that brand do you match her up with to, to meet that level? I don't even think they have any heels on Raw that are women. Like besides Nia Jackson Shayna. That's it. That's yeah. it. And I, I, and those two you know, it'd be good to see her and her stand up to Nia because Nia kind of bullies everybody else. Yeah. Her and Charlotte versus Nia and Shayna for the tag titles. That way you keep Charlotte out of the world title let, picture. and Let her and Shayna beat the shit out of each other. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it before. Like they don't have, because the thing with those, like, both of those two, and it was it was the same for Ronda. When Ronda was there, they had to be careful not to really hurt people because they were trained to really hurt people the way they started out. So let those two go at it and they can let loose a little bit and sort of relax and maybe come out of there, maybe come out of the like shells a little bit because of that, because they'll get a little more comfortable with it. So I have a question. Uh, you guys are Irish. Maybe you have a little insight on this. Are we going to get a little Becky insight? Is that an Irish Mania? joke? Are we going to get Becky back before mania? Um, I think it really depends on me personally. I think it depends on medical clearance. I think if she's medically cleared to get in the ring after whatever they do, like post medical wise, I, I'm sure they have a medical protocol, right? They have to somewhere I mean, in the WWE. Bella wrestled like a couple of months. She was in the Royal Rumble a couple of months after her baby mm-hmm. was born. So I'm hoping so, man. I mean, I, this is it's a star power. You, and you talk about it, it's the, I think that's what I miss a lot of times. Like, I'm like you, I'm a habitual NXT watcher. I will, I'll probably watch that brand until the day I die, just because I started with it mm-hmm. five, six years ago, however long it was. And, and I've made sure that even if I did miss an episode that week, I, I always went back and watched it. And AEW is kind of the same, but it's not, it's not really for me because it's different. It's a different level of investment. I mean, this is, it's a lot of weeks, dude, of watching the product. And yeah. watching people that you're like, yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura is a different entity on NXT than he is on any other brand. Yeah. Like, I miss that Shinsuke. So is, a, like, the demon Finn Balor is way different than Finn Balor. So there's a mm-hmm. lot of things that I miss about NXT that I wish they would bring back. And it's the reason why it'll always be the top brand that I choose to watch and not miss. If, and if I do miss it, I make sure, like, it's the first thing that I watch. So to me, I don't know, maybe it's brand loyalty. Maybe it's, I just see, I I just, like JP said it again, I just see AEW as they're just throwing money at things and mm-hmm. they're using Impact as a feeding ground for that. And Beyond is beyond Wrestling is part of that, which I'm, you know, whatever, that's cool. It's, it's it, it, everybody needs to get a payday. Um, yes. But I'm always going to be a, a WWE guy because I know, the vetting process and w- what goes into like when somebody gets that contract, there's something behind it. There's, there's a company that believes that you're that type of person that isn't going to embarrass them. No. Oh. Yeah. And there was one, I wanted to touch on something and I know I just looking down at Chris realizing like you went to a lot of the NWA shows, right? Yeah, up until, that. um, up until a certain Announcer went on a little uh, racist tangent. The cuck, yeah. cuck that he, Jim cuck that. <laughs> um, <laughs> cuck that, hey. But um, Josephus, a.k.a. Um, the question mark, the, yeah. the longtime karate black belt, new jitsu specialist uh, that trained Aaron Stevens in the martial arts, apparently. Um, and I say that in jest because, like, that's how he—that's how that character was. That character was yeah. meant as a bit joke, and uh, I think that's what someone like that would want to be remembered as, um, like entertaining people and just put the, down themselves over. But he passed away, and that was like he was a guy that you didn't see do big things, but he was so entertaining when he was in the ring, and it was cool. And that stinks. Yeah, he um, 
the last show I went to, actually, he was, I want to think he was going for the TV title. Or maybe Aaron Stevens was going for the TV title. I and did question dude, my cat the title for a little while. Well, the the one I went to, he was, I think you're right. Um, that dude was like, I had never seen him perform in real, <laughs> except for, I seen Josephus perform. I never saw the right. question mark. And when he came out, like I hadn't been keeping up with it because Cornette kind of pissed me off up until, you know, then. And when he came out, you would have thought fucking Ric Flair walked out there. Like right. he had the crowd in the palm of his hand. Like all these people doing this weird karate shit. I'm just looking around like, what the fuck is going on? And <laughs> he was entertaining as hell and hilarious. And um actually when I first started doing wrestling podcasting and, and I was talking to Jay Z Flair. Him and Josephus were, I think he wrestled in North Carolina. And so Flair kind of knew him and he kind of hooked me up. And me and him talked briefly. I'm not going to say we were like buddies, but okay. he was always nice. Like he was a wrestler that you could talk to and tweet at and whatever. And he would yeah. always like get back at you and stuff like that. So he seemed like a good dude as, as much as I knew him. Um, from what I read, he had a young kid kind of like uh uh brody did you know and so that that's yeah. always tough so yeah it's rest a, in it's peace a, to him and it sucks for his family and stuff like that and it, and it was sudden too like they don't even know i, I think they were i don't want to speculate from what i read they were saying it was either a stroke or an aneurysm so it's like but yeah it's just the industry takes so much from these guys um like, if you watch wrestling, just please appreciate what they do because, like, you know, the shot to the head, that entertains you for two minutes, but that has lifelong effects on yeah. them, obviously. Um, and then there's so many that fall into addiction because they don't get paid. Guess what? Like, if they wrestle for a living, they don't get paid if they don't wrestle. No, um, and, so they, and, they fall into the pain meds. And the, But the shots to the head, like, there's no other reason for someone because he wasn't an old guy by any means. Um, there's no reason for someone like that to have a stroke or an aneurysm like that without the, you know, you have to think that had to be a cause. Yeah. It's tough. Any, it's tough anytime anybody loses their life, but it's, it's, I think it's always tougher when they leave behind like a youth yeah. of any type, because that it's hard to fill that void. And I, I, only way I can ever describe it is like when you're a parent, there's a, there's a piece of your heart walking around outside all the time. So you're constantly worrying about like they're just you, you just do that's what happens and sometimes you feel that way about you know nieces and nephews or whatnot but you know it's just it's it's always a struggle but it's it's um when you have a talent like that that's so charismatic that he can touch people's lives when he's doing what he loves to do that type of charisma and that type of fun like it, it just sucks for the industry as a whole but at the same time, I think it makes me appreciate the times that we're going to have together when we can actually get back together. And like, that's what I'm, that's the part that I'm waiting for. Like this COVID bullshit's got me like this last year is, is it's been brutal. Like it's, I'm just waiting for like, not, I, I, I want to make it mania this year, but it's almost like I, it's almost yeah. like you can't because you have to, to plan for, you know, the Texas, and that's yeah, I'm not I'm even really planning for this year because there's going to be so few people allowed in the arena. Hotels are going to be super expensive down there. Uh, you live down that way, Rocky. You're not too far out. Are you going to try to go? I just got word. What is that? What are they saying, wrestling? We have just received word breaking news, um, breaking news that <laughs> <laughs> I am now eligible for the COVID vaccine, which was like okay. the one thing that was uh stopping me from thinking about going so i don't know depends on what tickets are looking like i've already taken vacation i've already reserved a hotel room when they announced it just in case did you really and so yeah I, and it was pretty cheap it was like 90 bucks a month to stay at holiday inn express um well, what, is that, what are you doing you've been caressing that damn tv since I'm we did this my tv oh my there was God. like a little piece of dust on it that was driving me nuts. That would drive me fucking crazy, though, so I don't even know why I'm fucking with you right now, because I'd probably do the same thing. <laughs> if I had that there, and I saw a speck on it, I'd probably 
take my headphones off and start cleaning it. Um, it's probably a, it's yeah, probably I mean, a piece of piece of it's probably a piece of H two O that flew out of that water bottle you dropped <laughs> half an hour ago. Or he was watching something he shouldn't have been watching before y'all started recording and <laughs> got a little messy. But um, I you know I'm gonna try if 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 everything lines up. I will go just because, like, I miss being out and doing stuff. If not, then I'll, you know, you think this ticket's going to be hard. Fucking wait till next year. Like, everybody Uh-oh. trying to go to Dallas for WrestleMania, like, those tickets are going to be high as shit and hard to get. So, good luck for everybody Listen, trying to go next year. Are you not going to try to go next year? I am. I'm just saying, you know. I it's think we gotta tough, get a, po- I think a podcast house has to be put together next year. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing is we just we rotate talent in, we designate it, we designate a room and we just have hourly podcasts and talent gets to rotate through. Oh, you're, you're talking about podcasting. Okay. Oh yeah. But, you, but, you, but, I mean, but a podcast house. My mind went somewhere track. else. You were like, we get we rotate a room and you have people <laughs> talent <laughs> in and out. I was like, I'm married, Josh. I can't uh, I can't. That's at nine like Eastern. That conversation happens at nine Eastern. Yeah, I'm down for that, but I mean, you guys are both married, so I'll just take both of your turns. <laughs> no, it, uh, I'm talking more like uh, actually just having, um, like actually having a podcast house there where we we rent a place for three days, and there's rooms where people can be fucking not, not assholes, but respectable and share a place, and then have a room where there's actually just a production in there where we don't have to do anything but set up, and people show up and. Like it's, yeah, I think the plan is already in the works. I think a lot of it's just a matter of fucking pulling the trigger on some of this stuff. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be super fun. We all use pretty similar equipment, you know? No, so Jay's, just, Jay's got, Jay probably, how many carry-ons do you think that dude takes? Jay's got, but Jay's got his, <laughs> his special mic. Like I'm great with this mic that actually you got, that got recommended off of your yeah. show. Um, I'm great with this. I love this microphone. Yeah, I do too. I like it. Um, and you know, so I think, and I think more, a lot of us have this mic or the Blue Yeti. Uh, so you know, we could literally just set up one person's equipment, or you know, if everyone wanted to bring their own because they're comfortable with it, it's your instrument. If you were in a band, the mic's your instrument. You know, you could do that and set your own levels. But Basically, just, just controlled Animal House for WrestleMania weekend. Why well, controlled? JP, because there's because some of us are adults. JP, I'm an adult. You'll be there. Eventually. <laughs> You'll be there eventually. We're gonna coach you through it, buddy. Oh, am I gonna be like so? Like, eighty proof has become like Rucker is um as J bombs like life coach. Is that what you think you're gonna do with me? <laughs> I'm not his life coach. I just. <laughs> I kind of am though, right? That's yeah. Funny. Like you're um, trying to you're you're literally pot in the middle of potty training him right now. <laughs> this is true. I'm trying to teach him how to wash his hands after he pees. It's, a, it's you're a trying to plan. teach him how to stand up when he pees. Well, I remember yeah. when uh, last time I think I listened to this, he had never used <laughs> face wash. I think like or, yeah, or and, made, and made fun of me for using it. He's like, "What kind of pussy are you? You wash your face?" I'm like, "Yeah, do you well, not?" I, I think it's. Uh, like I use beard oil, um, you know. I, I don't I think do that's... beard oil. I don't let mine get like I like the scruffier. Like I don't let mine get that long. I I understand. It's... Uh, and it's... face wash, I could give. I could go with though without face wash, but I wash my hands and my face. But and, and people keep asking why there's not so much of the so many people getting the flu. It's because we're covering our face and staying away from each other. That's why we're not all getting sick and nasty. Right. Are fans That's invited cool. to this gig? Well, Bobby D just said because Bobby D said he's got uh, he's got the okay to travel for Mania in Texas. So, yeah, I, I think mean, Bobby uh, D should be in. I think anybody can. I think anybody could come by. You it's get, a, it's a will, question of whether or not talk, they can stay. It's a you got to know the password. The password yeah. is an unopened bottle of whiskey. That's right, and you have to leave it with me in order to get in. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk, Bobby. Rucker, the we gatekeeper. <laughs> Uh, I I think this is what we had planned a while ago, but if we can, I mean, even even if we can't, I think it's it's something that will happen sooner or later. Yeah. I think it's just the the COVID thing has got I mean, me to got a point chaos where theory down there we got. I just want to travel. I just want to go somewhere. I want to not oh be God. in Massachusetts. I went to monster trucks, guys, last weekend. That's I went fun. and watched 
monster trucks. It, it would have been so bad, but we, how much time we have? We have a couple minutes. I'll tell. So they had like pro <laughs> motocross and then semi pro motocross, right? So this is big time. There's like four. There's like four thousand, five thousand people in this arena. So it's half capacity of or less than half capacity. So these dudes that are they're they're riding, you know, two fifties, four fifties, and uh, one guy ends up launching himself. I mean, he, he hits the jump uh, instead of kid the brake. He hits the gas on the next one and launched himself into like a pillar below us. So there was that one. Uh, other one was goosing it on the other end and basically launched himself into the crowd. Oh, no. That was on the other side by the monster trucks, him and another guy that took a half an hour. We were, I think we were there for a total of four and a half, five hours. By the time they got to the monster trucks, it was a long time, but after it was fun. Half the crowd was dead because motocross bikes were crashing into oh, them. God, dude, it was that. And then, I mean, they had the little kids out there with like five year olds in their little plastic things. It was cute and it was fun, and I think the kids had an amazing time. It was just nice to get out and see other people. Yeah, I think I people watched more than I did anything else. They yeah. just opened up here so like concerts can happen and live events can happen again. So I'm hoping one wrestling happens and two some of my concerts happen this, this summer. This will make you guys. Ha- this will make Rucker happy. So Mon- Montana is now a second. So it's a constitutional Second Amendment state. So you can welcome to the gun show. Up here. Hell yeah. So my yeah, so... my carrying permit is fucking legal there, huh? <laughs> That's what Welcome I'm to the club. About. Yeah. So uh Yellowstone is dinner in Ruckus House of both Second Amendment states. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like everybody doesn't realize like this is all a front. Rucker has like five hundred guns hidden away right now in his hidden militia. He they literally got... has a gun within five feet of him, I guarantee it right now. I have a gun safe on my desk with a gun in it. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm bullshit? Like I really do. Like, no, I, I know you, because I, I take I my know. finger right here and touch this little thing, I, and, and I know up. your rationale, and I agree with your rationale behind it. Yeah. No, um, it's. I think it's one of those things that, as a former Marine, I think everybody should understand that guns aren't a bad thing. Right. That guns actually are a really good thing in society. It's the fact that people don't understand the effects that they have when you have the shoes. ability to pull that trigger. Or yeah, I, you, or you put that in the hands of somebody that has ill regard for pulling that trigger. Either, either of those two. Right. Yeah. I think guns should be legal for most people. I don't think I should be able to have a gun. I don't either. I think you yeah, should have no. eight guns. I think you should have um, guns all the time, JP. I think Did you I just see allowed... him with that water bottle. You gonna put a gun in his hand? <laughs> yeah. I think I should be able to allow to go to a range and like shoot a gun and learn how to use a gun. I don't think I should be allowed to use a gun because. I'm the type who I'm impulsive. So like, if I get angry, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'm impulsive. You know what I mean? If you piss me off, you mean have you, to piss me off pretty bad. You mean you'd be the wild west JP? Yeah. Sort of justice. Is that sort what of. you're saying? Yeah, I get you. That, it, that's but normal I, talk. That's, that's that. f- for people that like in Montana, that's just normal. Like highway patrolmen up here, there's a there's a three dash seven dash seventy seven, which is basically the vigilantes that took justice into their own hands and sick of people and being controlled up here. So like Montana being what it is is, is it, like it's no bullshit. But yeah. I and I enjoy it, but it's scary at the same time because there are people that don't understand what the effects of a gun can have. But there's also the upside of it, like holy shit, that guy's strapped. Yeah, leave me Hold alone. On. Bobby D belongs to the Xbridge Rod and Gun Club. I think Bobby D, I think your mustache should serve as your gun license. <laughs> like if you can grow that mustache, you should be allowed to carry a gun. <laughs> what was the guy's name from uh Looney Tunes? Your Sammy Sam? Your Sammy <laughs> Sam. <laughs> yeah. If you like Rucker Bobby D is like one of our he's our he's a loyal, like he's he's yeah. live or die. Like this is on their big screen at home right now. And they're they're watching and hanging out like it's a family affair for them a lot of times. So you could have his... told me there was family watching. I'm in here cussing oh, no. and whatnot. Oh, no, no, oh, they no. trust me. Trust yeah, me. they're they're Boston Bruins fans, and that's where I was going with this. Is like he, <laughs> like he, if the Bruins are doing bad, like he doesn't care. Like he'll chill shit all over him, and that's what I love about him. Is I would love to see Bobby D and Jay watch a game, a Boston Bruins game together, and just how angry they could probably get together. 
Do you watch hockey, Rucker? Is that a game that you are interested in at all? Are you serious? Yeah, I know. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I don't. Why? <laughs> why, why? Why don't I? Yeah. I'm just not entertained by it. Are you trying to make this a racist joke, JP? I didn't make anything racist. I'm just saying I don't watch hockey. (laughs) No, 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 what made it a racist joke was Ruckus. Are you serious? (laughs) That's not what I meant. I just figured you you knew me well enough to know I don't watch hockey. It had nothing to do with ethnicity. But no, this was more. This was more me um, talking about how differences of people like because Jay's a huge hockey fan. Like the room that he has, and that's where I was going with is like the room that he has is when guests come to his house, they stay in like in his Boston Bruins room. Like he makes them stay in that room. So I mean, dude, that's the type of dedication, like, and your appreciation for the Cowboys is like Bobby D like a million times that so it's fun for me like when when these guys come on and hang out with us it's a family thing and um it's just fun to like i don't it, it's just fun to have you on like it's it's yeah. it's been a oh. before this we didn't know each other i didn't know no. you know before podcasting yeah. or or it's, any of this there were, there was none of this and it's just it's nice to have that type of connection and being able to sit back and and watch you and jay and you and marty have that same connection just do podcasting and common interest, man. It just it kind of gives me faith in the human race. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys have both become like like Josh. You've been one of my best friends for years, and Chris, you've you quickly became one of my best friends. You know, yeah, like someone yeah. I talk to on a regular basis, several times a week. Isn't it weird though? Isn't it weird how all this works? Like it's it's, it's fucking. Uh, we could do a whole show on that about how podcasting and radio and all this shit brings everybody together, and you know we're all race race aside like all of our interests and shit like that we all like yeah. different shit but yet we podcast about wrestling and right yeah race there's has your nothing. End. yeah that's the thing is we all understand race really has nothing to do with it right exactly if i have a question you know what i'm gonna ask you you know what i mean i last night i asked you a question and just out of curiosity so that i can learn and not be well, and, and we got to let Rucker go, but here's the other part yeah. of it too: is is we got to go too. I got to edit yeah. and like get ready for. 82. We only know half of the story, right? Malcolm X stuff that's on Netflix. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of stuff that we as kids accepted as fact that now we know is different. So I'm really looking forward to what happens and when everybody uh, starts to figure out what makes them happy and figure out that. Dude, we're, we're just, we're just, we're calling people. It doesn't matter where we're at or what we're yeah. doing. All we want is just to, to just fucking have fun. Be we're like-minded blue. people that all bleed red all day long. Well, I believe blue and silver. So, <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. Listen, JP, one, uh, take it out. JP, you want to take us home? Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, check us out at Three Irish Boys on Twitter, from The Irish Whip on Facebook. Get us on YouTube. You can check check out Chris Rucker at the Chris Rucker Show. I think it's still your uh, your right. No, uh, what is my Twitter at Rucker twenty twenty four Rucker twenty twenty four. That's right. He's running for president, guys. He's running for and president. Then, uh, at eighty proof pod at boot to the face with the number two, where you can find all of our our stuff there. I uh, appreciate y'all. You know, letting me crash your party. I text you at like six fifty. Like, hey, let me on the show today. So. <laughs> I appreciate y'all accommodating me. I'm like, is, is he on? Like, did we work something out? And Josh's like, I don't know. So I just sent to the yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm like, so, he's gonna, he found a way to get us back. Let's just figure yeah, it out. Right my now. text, I was just like, oh, yeah. So what time are we doing this? Like, I was like, neither one of them are fucking know that I'm not supposed to be on this. <laughs> and then JP, I said, what are we talking about? JP's like, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? So, yeah. And by the way, the one star for the Dallas Cowboys, that's not just a logo. That's also the team rating. Yeah, yeah. I think my connection got lost, guys. So I'm gonna have to. Uh... <laughs> hey, man, appreciate you. No, it was you. fun, man. I appreciate y'all letting me on. Well, oh, it's yeah. like the open invites always there. So even yeah. like I told JP, like I was like, shit, I don't know. Even if we didn't, we we it's always open. So we we did. We we're gonna see how long we could leave you in the green room. See how long you'd stay there. But <laughs> oh, it was cool. I was sitting here reading stuff online and looking at this bottle of Breckenridge, trying not to drink it. Oh. So hey, I gotta send you. I'm sending you a link for some whiskey up here. Actually, two of them. Both of you. When we get done. Awesome. I'm done. Next week. Thanks.